Holy cow, that's big. Wow, I wasn't expecting it to be this big. That's really cool. Oh, and look at this log. Wow. And then it goes into a vanishing edge. A couple airplanes in the hangar there. All kind of oh, I stuff. love this setting. Wow. How much property do you have here? <laughs> three acres, three and a half acres. Very nice. Look at this. Wow, look at the size of that log you used up there, buddy. <laughs> Lifestyle. So what town are we in, Mr. Ross? We're in Stafford, Virginia. Oh, this is your hometown. This is my hometown. Okay, we've been driving around a lot, and I am Greg Whitsock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitsock, the Pond Guy, and it's all about showcasing how customers all over the world, including in Stafford, Virginia, are living the aquascape lifestyle. And yes. you said, Charlie, this is a 10-year-old aquascape. Is it a pond or pondless? It is a pond. Okay, let's go check it out. Let's do it. Hello. How are you, sir? The pond guy, Greg. I'm Dennis. Hi, Dennis. Nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. You have a slope on your backyard. Oh, yes, sir. I mean, is that how you got into this water feature? Because you had a slope? That was my wife's idea. My idea was the front yard. The grass? <laughs> Where my flagpole is, it's hard to mow there. So I asked Charlie <laughs> to come out and talk to us about a pondless waterfall. So, okay. So yeah. you're originally going to design something for the front, and then you looked at the back and you said... Well, no. Then my wife got involved and said, no, <laughs> I want it in the backyard. I agree with your wife. <laughs> well, so do I. <laughs> Look at how I love this patio right here, this screened in room. Holy cow, that's big. Wow, I wasn't expecting it to be this big. I mean, Charlie, when you have a slope like that, you have a pallet to work with. 100%. Makes our job easy. Wow, look at that. Some nice koi down there. It's an interesting rock right there. So it's a fish cave, huh? Yes, fish cave and it's a fish. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, that's really cool. Oh, and look at this log. Wow. It's like something out of an adventure park or something. And then it goes into a vanishing edge over here. It just keeps going, going and going going and going love that log too wow dude this is great so this has been 10 years you've had this yes sir and how's it been like living with the aquascape ecosystem pond we absolutely love it uh, it's been very low maintenance we didn't know anything about ponds so when charlie came out and started talking to us about this he explained a lot of stuff to us did a little bit of research and came up with the idea of bogs for filters so you got a wetland filter up there charlie yeah, Oh, okay. That way I don't have to deal with filters. Yep. It stays pretty clean as long as I can stay ahead of the leaves in the fall. Because the leaves okay. fall down here, you got to blow them off or rake them out. So this is an intake base, so there's no skimmer. When you have a pond this big with this much trees in it, this is the better way to go. And then when the leaves come down there, you got to rake them out or blow them off. But that's pretty much it. And then do an annual clean out in the spring. Yes, sir. And I recover water from the roof. Oh, so this is a rainwater harvesting yeah, system. It comes into this as well. So does it come right here? Got a downspout filter or? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So this keeps it topped off. So how often do you have to fill it up? It depends on the weather. When we first got it, I was filling it up about adding water about twice a year. <laughs> Not bad. And now I might have to go six or seven times a year. Depending on how much rain is in it. Yeah. And I also take it off of the porch. That one comes down and ties in it. So it becomes more sustainable. This is awesome. So the pond went in first, and then the screen porch went in later. Yes, the hot tub works because we run our pond year round. Okay, yep. Uh, so in the wintertime, all of the waterfalls, they have splash zones that freeze. Yes. So we'll come out at night, leave the lights off here, just let the pond lights on, sit in the hot tub, and just look at this back. Amen. Literally paradise. So what was that? You're going to move someday. We will move someday. Don't know where yet. We're looking to Midwest somewhere. Uh, no, no, no. Get away. Utah. <laughs> <laughs> we will not be able to afford something like this again. This is a bit much when I'm not making as much money as I was. <laughs> In your retirement years, yeah. Yes. However, we will have another pond. Love. Aquascape has been perfect for us. So Amen. I, that's where I'll go to figure it out. We love to say a water feature turns a house into a home. I absolutely agree. Every Saturday morning, right here is where we have our coffee. Every Saturday. Amen.
10 years ago. As I think about it, this garage was not here when we came in. All of this landscape was not here. I cannot remember for sure, but I'm pretty sure that we planted these river birch trees. That one got broke out during the snowstorm we had on the 2nd of January. Heavy snow and, and that screen and porch was not here. Made it a little bit easier to build this pond, but you can see uh, with the slope, it was definitely a challenge. The milk car who is still with me today, master and the excavator, climbed that excavator right up on the hill. We have two wetland filters there and a 3,000 gallon rain exchange with an infinity edge was over there. I think we have approximately 3,000 gallons here and another three down there, so six to 7,000 gallons of water. A beautiful slope. I love these waterfalls coming up here. Then we have the stepping stones here. We right drive up to the vents. And this log right here has been here for about 10 years. As long as the water's going through there, it's protecting. And then we just came back and did a little refresh. You can see another log right up there with the water coming through that hollow log. So we knew it would be a good fit for the pond here. Nice, beautiful milky cypress. It makes the pond look awesome. Juniper, milky cypress, irises, lilies. There's the juniper draping down over the rocks. It's soft and heavy as well. Mr. Ross, are we going to a pond or a pondless? We're going to a pond with a 7,000 gallon rain exchange. Okay. Um, every drop of the water that falls off of this man's house, his garage, and his hangar goes into the rain exchange. Oh, is this the airport? What is this, Doug? You tell me about this. Dogwood Airport. Does he have an airplane? He has two airplanes, <laughs> as you'll see. We're getting ready to go the runway. Uh, I love my job. Get to see stuff so we can see another beautiful Aquascape ecosystem pond. And here is the run. Is this the runway? This is the runway. Oh, that is cool. Just right off the road here. Yeah, like, a, What is that, like a Cessna? or something? Yes, there's Cessnas. Actually, there's one guy in here that does have a helicopter. I told him that you would love to see his planes, too. All right, cool. All right, so check out another Aquascape ecosystem water feature and some planes. So he drives a plane and a tractor. That's living. I love it. And the stakes are representing the garden. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a very contemporary. That's a pond? No, that is attached to the pond that is behind the house, and there's orange pipe that runs all the way from the rain exchange down to this rain exchange. What? Okay, I need to understand why you did that. So let's park the car and check it out. So this is kind of cool. So you have an airplane? A couple airplanes in the hangar there. Okay. And, uh, it's an air park. You probably saw it. Yes. Well, they turn it up. They're resurfacing it. Yes. Yes. After how long have you lived here, Glenn? 2002. 2002. Okay, so 20, 20 years. years. Okay. Yeah. And how long ago did you put this water feature in that's unusual? Two years. Two years. It okay. Was COVID. It was October of 20. Okay. So this is unusual. So we have a rain exchange system out here and rain a pond. And urn and a wetland. What do you call it? Uh, wetland filter okay but the pond is in the back of the house yes. i did the so. collection system in preparation if you're going to walk to the back of the house let's walk this way okay i got about wow. five thousand square feet of collection here starts on the hangar roof about here okay so we get all the south side of the hangar roof that's funneled over here so do you use it to irrigate the plants on the property Sure. Okay. <laughs> Some future use. Okay. It comes this way, just the beginning of the first raindrop starts up there where we started walking and it makes its way to the pond and eventually down to the water feature, down to the urn. Flex up this. I wasn't able to capture some of this, but I capture from about here, here over on the shed roof. Dude, you got a lot of firewood. You must make a lot of fires. I do. Heat primarily. You can see all this is tied in as kind of was fooling around. It's kind of like weird. Yeah. And then I pick it up and I pick up both sides of the garage here. Yeah. Took a little bit of time while I was waiting. You know, Charlie was six weeks out or something, so I got to mess around with this. Comes around and I pick up the front of the house, this corner here. And it's all three inch, and then it switches over to four inch under the back porch here. They all combine. Yeah, they all combine as we make our way to that. I'm, I'm imagining you use that rainwater for the garden because yeah. that's way better than chlorinated water, city water. And it's free. <laughs> Free. <laughs> we'll call it free. Oh, I stuff. love this setting. Wow. How much property do you have here? About three acres, three and a half acres. Very nice. Look at this. Wow. Look at the size of that log you used up there, buddy. That was mostly from the excavation. The woods kind of came up to where the fire pit was, so we, we kind of extended back. The icebergs left the hill there. I think that's all natural. Okay, that. buddy. So I'm trying to understand. You know, I've seen a lot of water features. It's been unusual to have the filter over here and the pond over here. Yes, so we have a wetland filter 
filter here. Okay. It collects approximately 7,000 gallons of water. It comes into this rain exchange, overflows to 3,000 here, Glenn? 3,000 here in this exchange, which is right under the wall. And then it overflows, which it's doing right now. Sweet. So it's overflowing and going down to the. Going down to the. <laughs> and we just had three days of rain, so how much? We're full, full, full everywhere. So, This is one of the most unique projects that Virginia Water Guards has done. I say one of them, we've done a lot of unique projects, but only one did we ever do that has a hangar in a neighborhood that almost every house, I would say over 90% of the homes have airplanes and a hangar to put them in. So I think one home also has a helicopter. The other unique thing about this house, which really I'm curious with, is interests me is it's solar. It's totally solar, so there's, I think he actually sells electricity back to the electric company. So he does not use any electricity with exception well that's solar so eight thousand gallons seven eight thousand honestly i cannot remember for sure i know it's at least seven thousand and the water coming off all the way from that corner goes all the way back behind the garage behind the house every drop of water off of the house goes into the rainwater exchange when it overflows at three thousand or four it comes all the way down to here which holds another four to five thousand now one thing that i did not tell greg and we did not discuss is here it is this is water that is overflowing from the 3,000 gallon rain exchange that is rolling into here after over three days of rain, which to me is incredible. So this water feature, both of them, the pond and the urn down here, is totally self-sustaining. Where I'm standing right now, directly in line with the front door there, we have plans of building a lap pond. Our customer is a triathlete, loves swimming laps like myself, and that is our plan to build a lap pond right here. Challenging, we could not have done this, I don't think, without the help of the homeowner. It was at the beginning of COVID. We were booked out six, eight weeks or more with recreational ponds, large projects. This was a large project. This took a little over three weeks. And he did all the plumbing with a pipe, four inch pipe drainage coming off of the roofs of the property. And he did all the math too, since he's a pilot. So he's very good with math and his wife is as well. There you have it. We've also built the patio that's here and the steps that go up to the deck. I love the fact that we use the wood here as well. Patio, the fire pit. We also took a lot of the excess dirt from the wetland filter from the rainwater exchanges. We built this out, placed the logs here, and created a place to place the Adirondack chairs. My favorite thing about this pond is the rain exchange that is self-sustaining. And there again, you see polished water. And I love the log. There you have it. Ski poles for the bluebirds. Are you a skier? I got a place out in Park City. This is where the conduit runs. The water coming from that rain exchange gets pumped up here and it gets pumped up to that wetland. Wait a minute. I thought the water overflowed and went that way. You yeah. say the water comes back up back? Yes, two inch pressure pipe comes up in the same ditch. Okay. And then the water goes down. So the water coming out of that wetland over the waterfalls into the pond, overflowing that rain exchange comes down here, flows into this rain exchange, which is 4,000 gallons. This rain exchange has two features here, right? There's three, there's the urn, which is oxygen. There's the rain exchange, which is all the storage underneath. Is that copper? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So that's 4,000 gallons under here. And then that's more uh, wetland filter yeah. around the outside. So we've got two systems. So the circulation between the urn and the wetland are on the same pump. And then the 8 PN pump is down here, pumping up to the pond and coming out right there. Right. Certainly and, do and a good job filter. Me, give me water access to these future gardens. So you're gonna put vegetable gardens or perennial gardens or Correct. if you got a Cessna in there, what do you have? A Cessna 170.
My passion and love is water features. My real passion and love is helping people. And so I wanna inspire people to live the aquascape lifestyle with these vlogs. And I wanna inspire people just like myself to have careers building these cool water features. So if you're interested or you know somebody that is, please send them a link to these videos so that they can see what living the aquascape lifestyle is all about. And the fact that when you get to do something that you love to do, you never have to work another day in your life. Which is why I say, I love my job.